The Shroud of Turin, a linen cloth that bears the faint image of a man, crucified, wounded, and lifeless. For over a century, it has sparked debate. But one feature is rarely mentioned. One feature that breaks the rules. The hair. Look closely. On both the front and the back image of the shroud, the man's hair falls straight down. That's already strange, because the body is lying flat on its back. And yet, the hair doesn't spread. It doesn't fan out. It doesn't flatten. It falls vertically, as if you were standing. Normally, when a body is laid down, gravity pulls the hair to the sides, especially if it's long. It should drape along the surface, compress, distort, shift. That's not what happens here. The hair looks clean, symmetrical, as if untouched by the pull of gravity. It behaves like a photo of someone upright, but the man was horizontal. This is an artistic flourish. Microscopic analysis shows no brush strokes, no pigment, no pressure gradients from rubbing. The image is superficial, only affecting the topmost fibers of the cloth, not soaked in, not transferred by contact. And yet, the hair is there, clearly, hanging in the wrong direction. If the shroud is a medieval fake, why would the forger get the hair wrong? Why ignore gravity? Why make it look like the man was upright when the image was supposedly transferred from a corpse lying down? And if it wasn't made by human hands, what kind of event leaves an image like that, especially with hair that doesn't fall like hair?